hey guys welcome back to my channel this is la naturalia back with another one this will be a, a continuation video from my last video of the dry shampoo so on this step i am going to be moisturizing my hair now i was browsing on youtube and i came across a video by this lady and she was talking about castor oil and peppermint oil as a mixture that helps with restoring your hairline so on this video that is what i'm going to be doing and i am going to be doing it for the next three months um whilst i have my protective style and after i've had my protective style. now i have all my ingredients i have my normal spritz that i always tell you guys about i have water tea tree oil a little bit of conditioner and hair oil and um for the mixture i use the jamaican mango and lime castor oil which is the extra dark this is the one that i prefer and this is my peppermint oil but lastly by the way i have this these two pipettes i think or dropper medicine droppers that i got at this camp a long time ago i don't remember the prices so let's just be back okay so this castor oil is almost finished so i'm going to be mixing everything into this bottle I have about the castor oil is here so that is more than enough the lady did not specify how many drops so from me i boiling it i am gonna put in about five drops of peppermint oil okay there are six yep yep it's there <laughs> it's there so for my essential essential oils i don't have a specific brand that i go for i'm gonna be honest i go for the cheapest um option because i find that for a small bottle why should i be paying 100 <laughs> i don't know for me they work the same some others say that the cheaper it is that it is not organic and is not a, a pure oil but what can you say if you can't afford those options so right now i'm just gonna shake up the oil so that it can be mixed together Shake, 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 shake it up, and then I'm gonna first start by spritzing my hair just to prepare for moisturization, and then I'm gonna seal it in with that oil. This is the pipette that I am going to be using to apply the oil mixture onto my scalp and after moisturizing I just section my braids into two sections. And then using the selected pipette I just um, suck the oil from the bottle this is my first time using it so i struggled a little bit in the beginning and i was impressed by how much i could actually put the oil directly onto the places where i want to put it without struggling so as you can tell i struggled a little bit but once i got a hold of it i managed to get some oil As you apply the oil, make sure you squeeze a little bit 
off the oil onto the areas of the scalp just remember not to squeeze too much so that you don't finish the oil and you allow the oil to evenly spread onto the scalp once you're done just massage the area where you have applied the oil mixture The benefits of peppermint oil are a lot but the main ingredient in peppermint oil is menthol and menthol is said to increase blood circulation to where it is applied and that helps promote hair growth. Peppermint oil also has antimicrobial properties and it also has anti-inflammatory properties. Once I'm done applying the oil to the to my scalp I will just tie up the braids and then I put the oil onto a lid because I was struggling to take it out of the bottle I will then apply the oil onto my hairline And immediately after applying I just gently and lightly massage the oil mixture onto my scalp I will continue doing this on the other side Okay, then for the rest of my braids, I will just take the castor oil and the, all the oil mixture and then moisturize the rest of the length of my braids. This helps with preventing freeze and also helps keep the rest of the hair that is tucked into the braid moisturized. And this is the close up of how my scalp looks. And as you can tell, I have a very thin and fragile hairline, so I take a really good care of it. I really tried. And this is it from a different light perspective, just to get an idea of the real image. So now I am smelling like peppermint. Anyway, this is the end of the video. You guys can see how my braids are moisturized. I don't like moisturizing my braids too much because I'm trying to avoid product buildup or too much product buildup. That is when my scalp starts to be very, very itchy. So that is why I just lightly moisturize and then use a few oils here and there. We'll see as the three months progresses. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Lana Shirala signing out. I will see you guys in another one. Bye.